So, I googled you. They hadn't even ordered their food yet. The last time this happened, she was at least able to hide her involuntary grimace behind a curtain of spaghetti. The time before that, a fistful of fries. Charlotte Isles quickly raised the giant diner menu, but not fast enough to conceal the wince. The woman sitting across from her, Amy, smiled sheepishly. Sorry, she said. I do it before every date. God, I hate that word, Charlotte thought as she slowly lowered the menu. Googled. Just thinking it felt gross. Oh, she said, her voice several steps above its usual pitch. She cleared her throat, forcing her tone back down to normal. Hope you didn't find my middle school era fanfic. That'd be embarrassing. But a relief, Charlotte thought. She hoped that was all Amy found. She cracked a smile, hoping her date would take the out, laugh at the joke, and change the subject to something more palatable, like tax returns or lawn care. No, it wasn't that, Amy said, leaning forward eagerly. She had that look in her eye, the look of someone completely oblivious to the fact that the thing they were about to say was way more exciting to them than it would be to their audience. I didn't know you were, like, famous. Like famous. Charlotte heard that modifier a lot. Not super famous or currently famous, but she had, at one point, been sort of, kind of, like, famous. Charlotte shifted in her seat. I wasn't really famous, she said, beginning what was now a well-rehearsed speech. I just, you were, Amy said, as if she were gifting Charlotte a great compliment. Oh, okay. She wasn't even going to listen to the speech. Charlotte sat back. I mean, there were so many articles about the mysteries you solved, Amy continued, her eyes bright. You were like a mini Sherlock Holmes. Yep just a 10-year-old solving mysteries and doing cocaine. Charlotte had made that joke the first time she got the Sherlock Holmes comparison on a date. It didn't land. She never made it again. You help so many people. Amy took a quick gulp of water, looking at Charlotte over the rim of her glass. She swallowed. Did you really help the British Museum find a stolen artifact?